Don't you think that most guns in today's market are either AR variants or clones of 1911? Not that it is bad in any way, but it is just a bit boring. So here we have a compilation of some of the world's most unusual handguns. Caltech PMR-30 The first time you pick up a Caltech PMR-30, you might think that you're holding a toy gun instead of the real thing. But you can't be blamed for that, especially since this gun weighs practically nothing. That's because of its lightweight designs and the plastic covering over most of the gun's metal parts. The grip is shaped like a triangle and is very broad front to back. It feels really weird when you first hold this gun because it is unlike any gun you might have ever used before. A surprising feature of this gun is that it has very little recoil. This helps to balance out the strange shape of the grip. Some shooters complain that this gun feels like it's very cheap and fake. That's mostly because of the plastic sheathing that takes away from the elegant quality you normally expect in guns. But the brilliant engineering of this gun won't let you down. Even after putting hundreds of rounds through the barrel, these plastic components hold up pretty well. It also doesn't require much maintenance and hardware failures don't happen that often. The lightweight of the gun also makes it easy on the shooter's hand. It reduces the impact on arms and improves your accuracy during a long day at the range. Gyrojet The Gyrojet was made in handgun and carbine configurations. What sets this handgun apart from the ones you normally use and see is that it uses unconventional ammunition. 12mm or 13mm rockets called microjets are used in this gun. These projectiles have a propellant contained in their base. It also has a primer at the center. Here's how this gun works. As soon as you pull the trigger, a flat striker ahead of the microjet will strike the rocket on its nose. This will drive it back into a fixed firing pin. It then hits the primer and ignites the ports. The need for fins on the rocket is completely out of the question since the angled ports will cause the rocket to spin in flight. There are several advantages to using the gyrojet. The frame of the gun is very light and cheap. A bonus is that the gun has very little report and no recoil, but its disadvantages include slow reloading, lack of accuracy, and unreliable ignition due to clogged pores. These are pretty huge downsides, so naturally the whole project got folded. But the gyrojet made its appearance in quite a few movies. Dardic Pistol This is going to be one of the weirdest guns on this list. This is a double-action revolver that had open chambers that could be loaded from a magazine. The first model of this gun was the 1100, which had a 10-round magazine. The strangest part of this gun is the cartridge used. All of the Dardic handguns were designed around the trout. It is a triangular-shaped cartridge. This round was able to eject and load faster than a standard cartridge because of the revolver's open chamber. Although the 10-round version of this gun was the first debuted version, several other varieties soon became available in the markets. The major issue with this gun is that its magazine was not detachable. It made sense that this gun flopped shortly after it hit the markets. But you have got to admit that this is one of the most unique guns you have ever set your sight on. Velo Dog Revolver The name Velo Dog is a combination of the words Velocipede and Dog. Velocipede is an early type of bicycle. That seems like a very odd medley of words, doesn't it? But this is until you know the real story behind why this gun was made. This gun was made to protect the cyclists from the stacks of wild dogs who used to cause them. The gun is designed to protect the user. The hammer of the gun is concealed within the frame. This prevents it from snagging on the user's pocket when they draw it. This gun also fires using a double-action-only mechanism. It prevents the user from having to regularly maintain the firearm. The range of this gun is, however, limited because of its 1.5-inch long barrel. But since the entire gun is just 5 inches long, the shooter can easily wield the gun with just one hand. The safety mechanism in the gun is pretty simple. It is operated using a lever that is dotted to the gun. It can be quickly engaged and disengaged with a single hand. The design of the trigger varies according to the model of the gun. TP-82 The TP-82 pistol is Russia's triple-barreled weapon that was designed solely for use by cosmonauts. During the return stage of a mission, the capsule of the cosmonauts may land in areas away from the intended landing zone in the inhospitable wilderness. This might lead to dangerous encounters with wild animals, so the astronauts are trained with a gun on occasion. It has a single trigger and two exposed hammers. The right hammer fires the right shotgun barrel and the left fires the left shotgun barrel. This gun can be used for hunting and to defend against predators. It can also send visual and auditory distress signals. 
Palm Pistol. The Palm Pistol is unusual because of its target users. The Constitution Arms designed this gun especially for seniors and disabled people who had very little hand strength or manual dexterity. This gun is intended to be a single-shot weapon that can be held in the palm of the hand with a barrel extending between the fingers. This trigger is at the top and can be squeezed by the user's thumb. Several people were impressed by this unique idea, so in 2008, while the gun was still in development, the FDA classified it as a medical device. This could have allowed reimbursements from Medicare if doctors had prescribed a pistol to eligible patients, but later that year, this classification was overturned. Arsenal Firearms AF-2011A1 Does double the barrels mean double the fun? Well, the AF-2011A1 is a double-barrel 1911 pistol that has dual triggers and dual magazines. Since it is a derivative of the M1911 pistol, it is two side-by-side -side pistols merged into a single body. Many of the mechanisms either come in pairs or have been welded together into a double-sized one. Several models of the Thai guns are available in the market. The dueler model has stainless steel barrels that are 6.5 inches long, has a serrated slide and custom trigger set. The dueler prismatic model has top external compensators and ambidextrous brake ports. It too has stainless steel 6.5 inch barrels. In addition to the features in the dueler, this version has a G10 tactical grip. The AF 2011A1 and its several models are quite popular in Hollywood. It has made its appearance in movies like Resident Evil and Deadpool. Life Card The Life Card is a pretty weird handgun. It also lets you experience what being a spy is like. Confused? Well, here's out. If you're ever in a situation where you have to carry a gun as discreetly as possible, then the Life Card is the way to go. It is a single-shot 22 pistol that folds into a weapon roughly the size of a credit card except it is much thinner. Yeah, you heard that right, but don't underestimate this gun because of how tiny it is. Despite its size, this gun is quite reliable. It has a simple design and you don't even need holsters to conceal it. You just have to put this gun in your shirt pocket and you're good to go. Using this gun will make you feel like you are a cool spy. USFA Zip with its bizarre and futuristic design, it looks like this gun would make a perfect prop in some low-budget movie with space aliens. Many are huge fans of such weird-looking guns who are willing to sell an arm and a leg to add it to their collection. But this gun is not wanted by any gun enthusiast. The USFA Zip is a semi-auto 22 lr pistol. The gun is mostly designed with polymer and was quite affordable, but it was very unreliable at the same time. Shooters always complain about how the gun failed to extract and inject. It also jams frequently, so it is only natural that the company collapsed and these guns are no longer produced. Bergman 1894 Ever since Mandalorian wielded a Bergman 1894, this gun has become quite popular, despite how uncanny it is. Its design and shape are quite weird, but that is the least strange part about this gun. It also has an 8mm cartridge. The gun feeds from an integral forward sitting 5 round magazine. A tension pivoting plate was mounted on the right side of the frame and had access to the fixed magazine. The ammo was loaded into the gun with individual rounds. There was also no clip release, so this means that once emptied, the clip just fell out of the bottom. This was similar to some other rifle models. Another peculiar feature is that the gun didn't have a firing pin spring. In a way, this handgun served as a step towards semi-auto firearm domination. Want to watch more videos that will trigger your love for guns? Well, don't hesitate. Just click on that subscribe button if you're curious about which gun is the mightiest of them all. Check out our video on the world's most powerful gun.